Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting. Derek, episode. Be nice if you're yeah, I'd love it, Jerry. Or if it's just the places would just start putting jalapenos on the burgers. Or making blizzards. Okay, this I know. I know. I ha it's not finished, but I'm going to show you anyway. This. I'm going to sew this on here. And then I'm not sure. If this is going to stay open on top. And what I'm going to do is put tools in there. You put tools in. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this big flap down here yet. If I'm just going to let that stay as is. And what I'm going to do, so like what I'll do is, have these right here. And there are two sets, uh, there are a total of 16 hex keys. And um, I have a Phillips screwdriver, too. I don't know where it is right now. And what I'll do is I'll put them in here. Mm. And roll it up, and I'm gonna have a tool roll. It's not that heavy. I'm not gonna put a bunch of tools in there. Just some basic things. This is gonna be for our bug out bag. Now, some people might say, "Well, why you do you want tools when you're gonna be in the forest?" And the forest here is quite thick, quite dense. Others might say, well, in the winter time you have 150 feet of snow on the ground. Well, maybe not that much. <laughs> Sometimes it seems like it. Yeah. Well, I'll tell, I tell you one thing you could do with with a Phillips head and a straight edge screwdriver. You chop that ice. It might dull your screwdriver, but at least you get through the ice. That's when you need a little big, like, football and screwdrivers that are like that mm -hmm. big. Mm -hmm. But, um... <laughs> You don't know what situations you're going to come across in a survival situation. You may need to, let's say you're heading from point A to point B, and let's say we're going from here to the other side of uh, Mount, um, what's the mountain? Mount Nadnock. And on the way, a storm starts up, really bad, let's say a blizzard starts up, can't get inside. Tools might get you inside. Let's say you come across a car, it has gas in it, but it's not working. Now, I don't know how to work on a car, but you can use your tools, maybe to get that car started. Switch out, so, say you had an EMP, an uh, electric magnetic pulse, or a sun flare and it blew the wiring in, in the car. Well, maybe there's another car you can uh, harvest from to repair one of the cars. Maybe you need to get into a building to get food, to get medicine. Tools might work. You never know. You never know what you, you know. Look, you could use a screwdriver. You could use the screwdriver and I don't, you have, and you can just, you know, you twist it, uh, use it as a lever. Uh, these hex wrenches, hex whatever, hex keys, hex wrenches, you can use those on your guns, like to tighten your, your scope or who knows what. So. Another thing you're going to need are pliers. This this is not a bug out bag plier. This is our actual tool chest plier, one of our pliers. You're going to need, I would say, a pair of, you know, like needle nose like these and a pair of regular plier, I was about to say pliers, pliers, and one of those um, locking pliers. I don't remember what they're called. Uh, excuse me. Um, I think that's, you know, two screwdrivers, 
the hex wrenches, needle nose pliers, regular pliers, and the locking pliers are probably all you really need. So all I have to do now with this that I can think of is so this so it on this right here that side that one side and that'll be sufficient. What I want to sew onto the uh, camo shirts. I don't know if you can really see that. Let's see if I turn it around. It says it says South Armagh and yeah I'm into zombies we were at a, a store a store and we picked up three more uh, zombies eat brains you're safe zombies were people too and zombie hunter kill or get eaten on my hat book and zombie buttons on the hat. So, anyway, so that's all I really wanted. Uh, you know, you could take a pi uh, piece of steel wool that connects it, latches onto everything. I guess you could put that in there too, because you know, let's say something is rusted, you might. I would also suggest a small can of WD-40, and we do have duct tape for the bug out bag, but that doesn't necessarily go in here. But I guess it could. So. We have an inspection coming up Tuesday, which they need to give us another week. So the bug out bag and bug out kit is going to be put away for a while.